Hi, I'm Alice Levine, and I'm going to be presenting a Meet the Expert session on mild hypercortisolism due to adrenal adenomas, incidentalomas. Since the inception of CAT scans and MRIs, a lot of CAT scans and MRIs of the abdomen have been done, and they have uncovered adrenal incidentalomas. The majority of these lesions are benign and non-secretory. However, in recent years, it has been determined that there are as many as a third of these are making a little too much cortisol all the time, causing a syndrome of mild hypercortisolism. This is very different than the Cushing syndrome that most of us endocrinologists are used to, um, in which there are florid signs of Cushing's. This can look just like the metabolic syndrome. The question is, how do we define it? And that's been somewhat controversial um, in terms of the definition because, again, the usual 24-hour urinary free cortisol may not be elevated, and the only abnormality it may be just an abnormal dexamethasone suppression test. The other controversy in the field is, um, what are the sequelae of this? And as recently, particularly in 2014, there were a number of studies, there were retrospective studies, which demonstrated increased cardiovascular disease and cardiovascular mortality with any degree of hypercortisolism, implying that this really is deleterious to the general health of the individual who has it. However, causation has not been proven. And another issue is that we don't really know how to treat it. And there are not a lot of studies on treatment. The options include surgical removal of that adrenal gland um, and the newer medical therapies for hypercortisolism, including the glucocorticoid receptor antagonist, mifepristone. However, again, uh, although we have one small pilot study with mifepristone in this disorder, there's really very little that has been published so far. So it's an emerging field, but the newer studies indicate that we should pay attention to this. We have to keep an eye on it and possibly even intervene and treat it.